biggest fear is not being enough. Just not being enough as one person, as one single person. Like, is there gonna be such a huge hole that I can't fill? I was an awesome aunt. Yeah, I was the cool aunt. <laughs> My life before kids. I mean, any opportunity that came up, I'd go to, <laughs> you know? Anybody's bachelorette party in Mexico or Miami for the weekend or heck, even Paris, I'd be like, let's go, let's do it. Anything and everything I would say yes to, just always say yes. So Anna is almost seven and Eli's almost six. I've had them on a full-time basis for two years this month. I was just thrown into being an Insta mom and now we've got to figure this out together. <laughs> now it's like I find myself in traffic listening to parenting blogs and picking like the right doctor. You know, I had to ask like daycare and different people like, well, who do you use? What's the story? Are they part of my insurance plan? The emotional needs have been really, really tough because the kids have been through so much trauma. And, you know, kids, there's no filter. They just say whatever. And it was like, well, why are you always with your auntie? Like, where, where are your parents? Are your parents dead? You know, and I, and I see the sadness. And with my niece and nephew, when these questions come up, it's like they feel like they're missing something. So we had the chance to talk to your friend Christy, and here's what she had to say. What do you think about her decision to take them in? Remarkable. Remarkable. You go from, hmm, this woman who was, is still so independent, and um, she never gave it a second thought because those kids, they deserved and they needed a better life, and she was the one that was going to be able to give it to them and she knew it, and to be able to change your life so drastically and so suddenly is just, it's so selfless. One day when those kids are, you know, standing on the stage graduating, they're gonna turn around and they're gonna say, it was because of you that I'm here, and then I got here. They didn't ask for any of this, you know, they didn't, ask to be born into such a crazy situation, you know? Um, and they deserve to have the same opportunities as other kids. They deserve to be happy. 